The G Advanced 2024 results are out. It's considered to be one of the most competitive exams in India for entry into the most uh, sought after engineering colleges. This year alone, one like 80,200 candidates appeared for papers one and two of JE Advanced, which was held on May 26. Now we have uh, three toppers with us, uh, Ved Lahoti of the IIT Delhi Zone, who had bagged AIR rank one, securing 355 out of 360 marks. We also have uh, JE Advanced AIA rank four holder Rhythm Kedia with us. We have with us uh, JE Advanced AIA rank six holder Rajdeep Mishra also. Thank you so much and uh, congratulations to Ved as well as Rhythm and Rajdeep uh, for uh, securing. Uh, uh, you know, rank one, rank four, as well as rank six, respectively. Uh, Ved, if I could come to you first. The first question uh, I would like to ask you. you it, we do believe it was your first attempt at the JE Advance this year. Did you expect the result? What were you hoping for? Well, I was hoping for a good result. I was hoping for a good rank and good marks, but I didn't ex really expect All India Rank 1. Hmm. Okay, tell us, tell us a little about your journey, Ved. How did you prepare for the exam? At this point in time, of course, everybody wants to know, how did you reach her? I mean, how did you reach the number one spot? It wasn't, of course, very easy. There must have been challenges in your journey. Tell us a little about it. Um, for my JE preparation, I came to Kota uh, two years ago and here I started preparation under the guidance of my teachers and uh, uh, there was a huge support from my parents also. I used to, uh, I was connected to them uh, on the phone also. Yes. And uh, whatever the teachers suggested or advised me to do, I did that and uh, I completely followed them and uh, I reached uh, here. Hmm. Ved, you don't have to be nervous. You have to realize you are, you know, let that feeling sink in. You know, you're the uh, rank one holder and, you know, everybody is really proud of you today. So we do understand you. You are from Madhya Pradesh's Indore and you appear from the Delhi zone, uh, if I'm not wrong. And uh, you've, you've been at, uh, taking up your studies in Kota. Uh, was, was that challenging for you, Ved? Yes, ma'am. It was a new experience for me, but uh, I was connected uh, to my parents uh, by I used to regularly contact them. I uh, used to call them every day right. and talk to them. So it never felt like I was away from them. Hmm. So every day you would speak to your mom, your dad. And uh, uh, what was what was uh, if I could ask you, you know, the motivation to pursue this? Did your parents really push you? to, uh, you know, pursue this, uh, uh, you know, career or, you know, whatever you want to pursue in the coming future. But uh, to go ahead with JE Advance, did your parents really push you for this or did you yourself wanted to do this? My, my parents didn't put any kind of pressure on me for doing this. It was my own dream to pursue uh, this. Yes, no, I am not talking an about IIT. any pressure. No, no, no. I am not talking about any pressure from the parents. I'm saying, uh, did they instill this sort of confidence in you from the childhood that, you know, you could achieve this or you should maybe, you know, they motivated you to go ahead with this. Maybe, you know, this could help uh, in your career ahead. Or uh, uh, how, how did this, uh, you know, come into your head that you wanted to go ahead with JE Advice? only or you wanted to pursue engineering only ma'am it was my inter uh, mathematics was uh, my childhood and inter my interest since childhood so okay i uh, and apart from that there um, there are multiple engineers in my family and i got fascinated by this field okay Okay, so there are a lot of engineers in your family and that is why you've been fascinated or you're uh, motivated to attend this. Okay, uh, Ved, I'll come back to you. Let me go across to Rhythm also. Rhythm, congratulations to you as well. Uh, you are uh, AIR rank four holder. Your parents, I'm sure, are feeling really proud of you. We are also very proud of you. Tell us about yourself. How did you achieve, uh, uh, you know, these many marks in uh, the exam? And what has been your journey? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you. Uh, so my journey was like uh, uh, when I was young, so I had a, uh, this 
interest in the uh, sciences so i wanted to become a scientist then while growing up i learned about different fields and then i got interest in maths and then pursued in engineering also my father is an engineer my mother is a maths graduate so uh, it was somehow inbuilt also and uh, hmm uh, so for uh, preparation of je i came to kota in 11th and uh, studied for this exam for 2 years and now uh, appeared in this exam uh, quite uh, calmly uh, from the rurki zone and uh, finally i am very happy with my result hmm uh, was there uh, we do understand you know these are very competitive exams it's not really easy to crack also uh, was there any sort of stress that you had in your uh, mind or how did you cope with it tell us a little about that also uh, you know a lot of future aspirants are also looking at you at this point in time uh, what is uh, your uh, motivation for them going to be what is your message for them going to be uh, so first of all about this test so uh, definitely because i have prepared for this exam for 2 years and uh, this exam is also kind of uh, future deciding uh, like it decides the college which college will you study in so i had a stress about that but i was eased by my parents and my teachers that uh, don't take much stress and you would do well and uh, so i i stood calm and uh, composed in the exam and then uh, mm. did my best there and the advice to the students would be that uh, just uh, study uh, quite hard and follow your teachers uh, 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 do the homeworks regularly and uh, do not hmm. take much stress and be calm and composed and then you would achieve everything you want all right so be calm and composed that is your uh, success mantra uh, this is what uh, rhythm here is saying rhythm i'll come back to you let me go across to rajdeep also rajdeep many congratulations to you you are uh, je advanced ai rank 6 holder how are you feeling today are you happy your parents must be really excited for you uh, how did you how did you prepare for the exam what are you looking uh, at in the future now so obviously i'm feeling very happy right now because my parents and my teachers are proud because of me so for that reason i'm also happy and i prepared for je uh, after coming to kota after my class 10 and ever since then i have been strictly following what my teachers suggested me and yeah that's why i guess i was able to achieve such a good rank hmm absolutely rajdeep did you did you i've been reading a little about you as well that you started preparing early uh, could you tell us about uh, uh, how did you get into the preparation for this very tough exam very competitive exam we do understand a uh, lot of uh, uh, well uh, kids we do understand might not be happy with the result but you are amongst the toppers here rank 1 rank 4 rank 6 holders uh, how did you get here tell us a little about your preparation so yeah around class 8 i started giving a lot of olympiads and through that i discovered about coachings and you know future study methods like you could go for j advance or you could go for neat and yeah i did achieve a lot of gold medals in international olympiads and that you know this instilled the belief in me that i could do well in j advance as well so yeah after that i came to kota and i started preparing for j advanced hmm okay so it's how how long did did it take you i mean you started from school itself that you started preparing and then uh, you came to kota later on uh well strictly speaking uh, uh when i was in class 8 i joined the coaching and that was strictly for preparing for olympiads and if you talk about je coaching i started that in 11th only hmm what are your parents saying uh, today uh, they must be really excited as i was saying earlier how did they help you uh, we do understand as i was speaking to rhythm also earlier here that there must be a certain level of stress also that uh, children really face or uh, the candidates who appear in these exams they face so how did you cope with that stress did your parents also help you uh, in coping with stress at the, you know while preparing for the exams yeah obviously if you prepare for some competitive exam there's always some kind of stress on it but you no know, every time i felt low or every time i felt a little bit stressed i just went ahead and talked to my parents and whatever the advice i just took on that and built upon that and yeah i had several low points but my best thing about me what i feel is 
is that I always came back harder and stronger from them. Hmm. And I never let that, you know, failure distract me from my ultimate goal. Okay, those are really strong words. Those are really good words that you're using there, of course. Uh, well, a lot of uh, mehnat, a lot of hard work, I'm sure, has gone into, uh, you know, preparing for these exams and achieving this rank, of course. Uh, Rajdeep, let me go back to Ved also. Ved, what are you looking forward to? I mean, I'm, lot, I'm sure a lot of colleges would want you, uh, you know, would want you at this point in time. Number of universities might be wanting to approach you at this point in time. What do you want to do next? I'm, I'm currently planning to uh, take admission in computer science branch in IIT Bombay because uh, that's my uh, because that's my field of interest, and IIT Bombay is the best college available for that particular field. Hmm. Why only computer sciences? What, I mean, uh, what? Why would you only want to pursue that as your career? Ma'am, I would uh, like to pursue that field as my career because it is the field which uh, uh, I am most interested in, which has been my uh, interest for, since a long time, and I believe that uh, it is the field which has the most scope for development in the world and in India also. Okay. All right. Uh, well, uh, let me take that question to Rhythm also. Rhythm, you've uh, spoken about your success formula. You've also uh, given your advice for to the future aspirants also. What is it next that you are attempting to do? What do you want to go for next? So I want to pursue computer science engineering from IIT Bombay as well. Uh, because, uh, you know, IIT Bombay is kind of a very good environment there because like most of the uh, best students from India go to IIT Bombay for their studies. And uh, they also have very good technology and uh, you can really rely on it and uh, do very well in the future as well. Okay. Okay. I, I actually want to go back to Ved. Ved, uh, you've told us uh, that, you know, your interest in math made you pursue this. And you've told us about... Uh, uh, how did you really prepare for the future aspirants also? If you could give some message, your secret, uh, you know, of your success. How do how do they prepare? How do they cope with stress? Yeah. Um, there is no such special secret of success. It is just hard work. And uh, for specifically speaking for JE, I would recommend them to uh, take advice of their teachers and blindly follow it because they are much more experienced than the students. They have been teaching for more than 10 to 15 years so uh, i would uh, uh, advise them uh, to uh, take uh, to th uh, take help from their teachers hmm. and uh, any I, any uh, subject that you felt that you know you, where you were lacking or uh, where you thought maybe you know maybe you know this is this is one area that you know i may be lacking in or i need to focus on that i needed more help with uh, who did you approach i mean uh, who who was your mentor here or you know, uh, uh, I mean, of course, uh, you've got 355 out of 360. That's not easy. That's, that's, uh, th that's the number that's very difficult to achieve. But uh, uh, who has been your mentor? Who has been your uh, uh, guidance uh, in your journey? Ma'am, uh, whenever I've felt any kind of difficulty in any subject, I used to approach my teachers and... Uh, I worked a lot on my weaknesses and worked on them till they became my strengths. Hmm. So okay. I would say that my, my mentors are my parents and my teachers only. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Ved. Thank you so much, uh, Rhythm and Rajdeep also for joining us here on the broadcast. And many, many congratulations to all of you. Uh, you've made us all proud. You've made your uh, teachers, your parents all proud uh, by bagging uh, uh, the respective ranks, that is, uh, well, Laved uh, is a rank one holder and Rhythm is rank four holder, we do understand, and Rajdeep securing the sixth rank uh, in the JE advanced uh, results. All right, thank you so much uh, for being with us here on the broadcast.